how y'all doing? Okay, so, um, I just got done spending the time with my parents. I was out and about. Um, as you can tell, or not tell, because it's dark, I'm back in Eve. Thank God, I'm back in Eve. So, um, I got Eve for the night. I think I have to take her back tomorrow, because she still needs fit. She's not even been touched yet, but the car, Sylvester, the one that I was driving broke. So, um, this is the situation. I told my mom, bat story. So I told my mom, as soon as Pat her uh, people out, I'm going to move in, right? And they're gone. They they left on Sunday. They picked up their final shit um, yesterday, I believe. What is today? Today is Wednesday. Okay, so. They picked up their final shit on Wednesday, <clears throat> meaning that they're gone. They have their own house. They have their own shit. They shouldn't be back, right? So, um, I, oh, I was planning on moving in as soon as I got everything situated. So I started moving stuff there. And then after I started moving stuff there, I talked to my mom about it because, I mean, you're supposed to tell your parents when you're moving out of their house. Because she even said, well, you're not supposed to just move out of someone's house. You're supposed to tell them that you're moving out. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll tell you that I'm moving out. So I'm moving out. And she goes, oh, no, you're not. And I'm like, why am I not moving out? And she's like, you're not moving out when Eve is still in my name. So, again, backstory. Uh... 2014, 2013, 2014, I believe, <clears throat> I purchased Eve from a car dealership. Now, the problem with purchase, purchasing Eve on a car dealership, you had to have good credit. Back then, that was what, five years ago? So I was 20. And I had no, I, ha I think I had really bad or no credit at all. So I couldn't get the car on my own, right? So I had to have somebody co-sign so that I could get my car. So enters my mom. My mom co-signed so I could get Eve. Okay. So my mom is primary on my car and I'm secondary. Even though I have not missed one payment on this car. So. Okay. I. So flashback to now. I told my mom I'm moving in with Patty and she says no you're not and I said okay well why what 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 issue do we have why do I why can I not move out and she said there's no way in hell you're moving out to Patty's house with Eve still in my name and I said okay what do I have to do to get Eve out of your name so she can just be in mine and she said you have to pay off your outstanding balance <clears throat> for your car because I still make car payments my food just flew I still I still make car payments every month for Eve, and they're $225 a month. Fine, I can deal with that. I can handle that, you know, like whatever. <clears throat> so, um, I was like, okay, well, I don't have $5,000 on me right now, so how am I supposed to pay Eve off? And she's like, well, you can either get a loan or not move out. And I said, okay, so I'm gonna look into loan options. So I start looking into loan options. And I use the app or the website Credit Karma and they give you a whole list of loans and shit like you have an excellent chance of being accepted, fair chance, good chance, bad chance and everything like that. So I went through, I went from the lowest interest to the highest interest and I only got accepted by one. Yes, I said accepted, accepted wrong. I say accepted, not accepted, 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 whatever. So, um, I only got accepted by one and the one that I got accepted by has a interest rate of 25%. Now, if you don't know anything about interest rates, that's really high. <laughs> so the interest rate I have on my car currently is 5%. So I'm going from 5% to 25%. So if I went to 25% and took this loan that I was going to do until I spoke to my father, um, 
and that would add another two thousand dollars on top of the four thousand five thousand that i already own so now my bill would be seven thousand dollars okay so now i'm stuck in this situation where i either get the loan or i live at home until i have my car pay off which would be another year and a half so i talked to my dad today and he said well there's other options don't do the loan that's really really bad interest you're gonna get fucked over don't know if eve's gonna last another two years and i said okay well what are my options and he said well first off we have to figure out if we can get insurance before we even put you on your own internet because if we can, if your insurance is five hundred dollars with just you on it you're not going to be able to pay it right because if I get new insurance, it would just be me. So I can't pay $500 worth of insurance just for me. Think about that. I didn't even think about insurance. <clears throat> so he said, well, let's look at insurance, call off this loan you have, and we'll see what happens. So I go to my mom and I tell her, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to do the loan because it's stupid interest rate. Like I said, it was, it was, um, 25%. That's stupid interest rate. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So, and then she goes, okay, well, you're not allowed to go to Patty's house in my car. And I'm like, what? And she's like, you're not allowed to spend the night at Patty's house in my car. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, um, I'm worried that you're going to have Patty drive it or something while <clears throat> you're at Patty's house. And I said, I'm not going to have Patty drive it. The only time I ever have Patty drive it is when I'm in the car. And she knows that because she's seen Patty drive wherever we go while I'm sitting in the passenger seat. She said, no, that's not allowed. And I said, okay. And I said, okay, I won't let her drive. And she's like, that's the thing. You can say it all you want, but I don't believe you. And I'm like, okay, well, what can I do to make you believe, believe me? And she's like, you can't. You're not allowed to spend the night at Patty's house. And I said, well, Patty comes and spends the night for like four nights in a row and there was no problem but now all of a sudden I but Patty can't come over to my house I can't go to hers and she's like yes so I said okay well that's bullshit first off now I'm not even allowed to spend one night at Patty's house because of this whole situation with the car because <sighs> for five seconds I said I'm gonna move in with Patty and then this whole car thing happened and now I can't even go and spend the night at Patty's house. So, so I went back to my dad, told him what happened, and he said, okay, well, we have to check out the insurance first, but we might have, we, there's different options we can do to get this car out of your mom's name. And I said, perfect. So, as of right now, tonight, this has all happened within two days. But I didn't say anything because I didn't realize it was going to get this fucking extreme. So, as of right now, I currently still have the car in my mom's name. I'm canceling the appointment for the intro or for the loan tomorrow. I'm not canceling it. I'm going to postpone it just in case. <clears throat> I most likely won't take it, but just in case if I have to. Last case scenario. Um, so car still in my mom's name postponing the ins the loan that I was supposed to go tomorrow to get the car out of my mom's name um my dad's checking on a bunch of insurances for me to see if I can get insurance and I'm not allowed to spend the night at Patty's house even though I'm going to Patty's house tonight and tomorrow what is today Wednesdays and Friday after work so meaning I don't know what these vlogs are gonna be Usually, um, usually Monday or Sunday night to Monday to Monday or sorry, Sunday night to like Wednesday, Patty comes over and we go do things and we go explore and we go do whatever and get vlog content. But now I'm not allowed to spend the night at Patty's house and Patty can't come to my house because of animals, meaning... Angel is still at Patty's house also, by the way. And I left at 11. Pat, Angel's been home, alone, home at Patty's house by herself for 12 hours. I am a terrible animal parent. <laughs> anyways. I keep saying anyways. Um, so I don't know what the vlogs are going to be. 
I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Patty, Patty's schedule is crazy. My schedule is crazy. I don't know. Usually, like, we don't do things until nighttime. That's usually when we're both awake and both, like, wanting to go do things. So if I go and do things with Patty at nighttime, it's going to seem like I'm going to spend the night at her house. You know what I'm saying? I also have my computer there, which now I'm going to have to take home and pack all that shit up. Um, my futon, which is staying there, just in case I want to spend the night once a month. That was the, that was the standard that mom set. And... I gotta take everything else back home. So all of my video games, all of my computer equipment, my computer, the, the screens, everything's gotta go back to my mom's house. Um, so that's the thing that's happening right now. I don't know what vlogs are gonna be. I don't know what's happening within the next couple weeks. Uh, my stepmom, who's helping me with the situation, said that it could take a couple weeks. First, we need to figure out um, car insurance. If car insurance isn't too crazy, I hope that's not a cop because I'm speeding. <clears throat> um, if car insurance isn't too crazy, we're going to go ahead with options to see how I can get mom off of my car. If car insurance is too crazy because of my age and everything, like if it's like $150 a month, which sounds like fucking crazy, which it is, um, then I can afford it. But Jess said that or my stepmom said that because I'm under the age of 25, it can go up to $500. And I'm like, fuck, I don't have $500. Um, <clears throat> if car insurance is affordable, we're going to go ahead with the plan of getting um, a loan or a personal loan or go through my parents to get the car out of my mother's name so that I can be free and actually spend the night at Patty's house as much as I want. Because that's, like, honestly, like, even if I don't move in with Patty, that's fine. Like, if I get it, mom, my, my car is underneath my mom's name, I get it. You don't want me to spend, live at, sorry, car is under my mom's name, you don't want me to move in with Patty, that's fine, whatever. Perfectly fine, okay. I won't move in with Patty, I'll bring all my shit back, I'll just go visit Patty, three days a week and stay there for three days a week like Patty did at my house but because of this whole situation I can't even do that like that's kind of how my friends are is we like like normal normal people normal friends are like oh I'll come over one night and then go home and then we won't talk for another week but the way my friends are set up, like, we go and spend, like, four days together, and then we don't talk to each other for, like, two weeks. And then we spend four days together, and then we don't talk to each other for, like, two weeks. We, like, talk in the group chat occasionally. So, seeing my friends once a month, that's literally going to ruin my friendship. Because of how much we talk. Patty and I are, like... Always talking to each other, always seeing each other. Every week, Patty comes over for three to four days. Every week. And now we gotta go to one day a week? That's literally gonna, like, I know that's, like, giving us a break or whatever, but, like, that's just, I just, I just, I, I'm that type of person that is like, I wanna be left alone. But I also don't want to be left alone. So, like, the whole three days of Patty staying the night was perfect because, like, three days of me getting my, like, talking with friends and spending time with friends. And then four days of being left alone, not speaking to anybody, doing my own thing. Like, it's literally the perfect equation for me. And now, my mom is literally going to fuck that up and mess it up because my na my car is in her name. <clears throat> But I just, I don't know. So I currently just got to Patty's house and this is a garbage bag because I got the air conditioner in the window. I just need tape because the air conditioner doesn't cover the whole window because our windows are bigger than mine. So what my dad used to do is used cardboard or, um, garbage bag so that they could like cover the whole windows right now i have a blanket and 
trash can. But as you can see, blanket, and trash can cover. And it doesn't cover the, I mean it covers and I don't see any, but. So I wanna, so I need to find tape so that I can tape this to the window so I know absolutely no air. And also, this is a hole too. And this little air conditioner by itself has to cool down the whole entire house. Do you think painter's tape will work? I could try. So that's the plan right now is to get this to work because this little baby thing has to cool down the whole entire house. Right now, I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna fucking try. Okay, so as you can see, um, I just found duct tape, so I'm going to duct tape over it just to make sure when I come back up. So, that, and then I taped all of this bag, and that is going, it has been going, and I also, I had to put the legs on my bed to make it not on the floor, and I put that on, and now I'm about to go back downstairs. to make my character um, it is hot as balls up here down here as I'm now down but usually doesn't cold air cold air rises hot air sinks or hot hair rises cold air sinks I don't remember but I'm gonna make my character real quick with this big dice Maybe the big dice will give me some luck because I usually roll shit. And then I need this. Okay, now I'm gonna make my character. Is I gotta figure out what I want him to be really good. Him, her, I don't know if it's a boy or girl yet. So I gotta take these numbers and put them in here. And I figure I have to figure out what. Well, hello. Are you gonna join me for a shower? When I was showering, I still am, but he was in between. Can you see how you can go in between? Like that's in the shower. In between. Out of shower? He was in between listening or watch playing with water. I was in the shower. Where'd you go? Oliver, are you weighing yourself? 